Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is a continuation of the Math 1105 videos for Salix. And this is section 1.2. I'm starting with part 1. What we have here is an example of a mapping. And our question is to explain whether or not this is a function. Now, here's what this mapping really means. A is sent to D. So that is very much saying we have the ordered pair A, D. B is sent to F. And C is sent to E. Now, before I answer if it's a function, what is the domain? The domain are always the input, the set of inputs. So the domain here would be the set made up of A, B, and C. And the range is always the set of outputs, which in this case would be D, F, and E. And an important question, is this a function? The way you determine if a relation or a, a relation is a collection of ordered pairs. A mapping is basically a different way of writing a set of ordered pairs. The way you determine if a set of ordered pairs is a function is you scrutinize the x values. Once an x value has made up its mind, it can't change it. And in this case, A has kept D, B has kept F, C has kept D. Nobody's changed their mind. So in other words, no x value has made a different choice for y. So the answer for is it a function is yes. Another way, to, another way sometimes you'll hear that said is, does an x value repeat itself? If an x value repeats itself, what that usually means is an x value is going, first made a choice, but then it changed its mind later, and a function is not allowed to do that. Okay? When you're testing to see if a graph is a function, you apply the vertical line test, and a vertical line checks for repeated x values. So instead of really running a vertical line, you're just sort of visually checking the x values yourself. All right. The next question here. Okay, and I think the way it asks this in your notes, is this correspondence a function and explain? Well, the correspondence, let me fold down my paper. The correspondence this time, negative 2 gets paired with 3. Negative 2 with 3. 1 gets paired with 4. Okay, 1 gets paired with 4. Then 1 also gets paired with 5. I think you can immediately see that we've got a problem. Alright? And the problem is with 1. Is this mapping a function or is this correspondence, which is the same thing as a mapping, your notes say correspondence. Is this correspondence a function no. A very simple explanation, one cheats. Now what I mean by that, okay? One made a promise to always be with four. Well, look at One hour later, it's out with five. It can't do that. When an x value makes a promise, it, it can't change its mind and pick a different partner for a y value later. So, the number one messes this up as far as being a function. Now, it's still a relation. It is still a set of ordered pairs. That's clear, okay? It is still a relation, but it is no longer called a function. Understand that the word mapping, correspondence, set of ordered pairs are all saying the same thing. What makes something a function is when the x values pick only one y value to stay with. They never change their mind. Okay.